Hey everybody, um, I hope everybody had a good weekend. Mine was very busy, had to do some yard work, and I had a very fun day yesterday. I attended Free Comic Book Day at three different comic shops around the state. Um, first one was in Hattiesburg, Mississippi called Bombshell Comics. The next one was Three Alarm Comics over here in St. Martin near where I live. And the other one was Jack's Toys Comics and Games, which is an awesome gaming shop and comic book shop in Biloxi. It's been there for years. Uh, picked up a lot of cool stuff yesterday. Um, a lot of free comic books, Doctor Who, Tick, Funny Pages, Stranger Things. A lot of cool stuff. A lot of collectibles pretty cheap, like a Star Trek Hugh Borg figure. If you don't know this episode, I highly suggest you Google it or find it or download it, whatever. Hugh Borg was the first Borg that the Enterprise came in contact with. And also got a Captain Picard figure, which is, you know, pretty cool. It'll, it'll go where on my collection. If you want to look more at my collection, go to Instagram and go to hashtag Dixon373. And just search for that and you'll see a you know, link to my direct Instagram page and you see all my collections. I also picked up this yesterday from Mr. Brian and King and Mrs. Monica King. They run a little cool game called Neo Realms. And I, you know, have known them for quite a few years and they're wonderful people. That being said, the first comic book I shop I went yesterday has a record store attached to it called T-Bone Records, which I went to free comic, excuse me, uh, record store day last month to them, and they, excuse me, and they are attached to Bombshell, they got a lot of good stuff, you know, I had lunch there, and, um, you know, it's a really cool place, I've been going there since I, since I had college there. Since I went to college there in the late 90s, early 2000s, God, almost 20 years ago, I'm getting old. Anyway, sorry for digressing. The, um, however, they have this thing called, I guess you could call it a brown bag guess, mystery pack or whatever. It's uh, five to seven record albums that are packaged, used, and it's only $5.99 plus tax, and you don't know what you get it's blind so I decided to do a opening of the package here on YouTube share it on my Facebook and such too and just see what everybody thinks okay so let's get at it all right so, so let's see what we got so, you know these are I like it because it's paper the paper is easily, you know, biodegradable. I try not to use plastic back to myself whenever I go out. All right, so we got some interesting, interesting, wow, interesting, interesting stuff here for $5.99. Wow, I am quite, quite taken aback. Okay, first one is... Super Hits Volume 2. Probably will never be able to find Volume 1. Um, looks like a collection of Country rest Western and other type of um, country music and such like that. Um, 1982 Gusto Records. Um, also available in 8-track cassette and LP, which I have the LP. Um, has some great songs on it, Tennessee Birdwalk, House of the Rising Sun, which I guess is not a country record, I apologize. Uh, Tragedy by Thomas Wayne, looks like My Special Angel. I very well may have to put this on. And it's written on pen, and the guy's name is Mac, who owned this record. Thanks, Mac. I appreciate it. All right, next we have <laughs> the classic aerobic woman complete exercise healthy and beauty program for the total woman featuring dance exercises to the world best classical music okay 
with an easy to follow 24 book set booklet which is wow still in there interesting so yeah I may need to work on my feminine physique a little bit and get a little bit more in shape um back of the album what I found really interesting though is I worked in a record store for many years and this is a cutout I don't know if you can see that well enough it was cut out that means that the distributor took these albums back wrote them off then sell then sold them through other you know cheaper distribution points such as you know for sale bins and stuff like that so that's interesting so we'll see what that is um the next record i have is plaza house presents the greatest hits of the, the 30s excuse me the greatest hits of the 30s so i guess i can have a great depression party um oh i got some Artie shaw andrew sisters benny goodman nat king cole freddie martin uh benny goodman again and over the rainbow starring with julie garland wow okay pretty cool um this was released on capitol records and can't find a date right away on it but you know some interesting music here some interesting music interesting all right all right moving on next thing we have is a i don't know if i showed the cover of that last one sorry that's the cover okay is a collection of golden hits mercury records high fidelity um I'll look for the year in a second. It has the platters on it. The Great Pretender, The Magic Touch. Very cool. The Crew Cuts. Angels in the Sky. Kokomo Shaboom. I don't think that has anything to do with the Beach Boys Kokomo. The Diamonds. Why Do Fools Fall in Love? Church Bells Main Ring. Love, Love, Love. Um, Pretty cool. It's a mono version. Let's see if I can find a year on it. Um, don't, quite, don't see a year on the back. Maybe on the record. Yeah, some interesting stuff from Mercury High Fidelity Records. Um, oh, it's in bad shape. That's okay. It's okay. I have to use I have to use my cheaper record player to, to play this one. Okay, <laughs> this next one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Jim Neighbor sings the Lord's Prayer and other sacred songs yes that is the same jim neighbors from the andy griffith show i think he came out you know as homosexual later and became a gay rights person which is awesome and he's singing the lord's prayer he also has ave maria in the garden just a closer look the old rugged <clears throat> the old rugged cross amazing grace of course the lord's prayer holy 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 wow he has some really cool um music on this uh let's see i believe this was gomer pile too um correct this is gomer, gomer pile columbia records 19 mm, i'm just i'm not having much luck finding years today but it's okay <clears throat> next is 20 Famous Country Hits, Volume 4, as advertised on TV by KTEL Records. KTEL was that big um, records. They did, you know, TV records, KTEL Records, disco hits, such like that. In the 70s and 80s, you called, paid 1995, got a collection of disco, country, whatever records. Um, this has the original Johnny Cash on it, Folsom Prism. Folsom Prison Blues, Patsy Cline, I Fall to Pieces, Hello Darling by Conway Tritty, uh, Hank Williams, Your Cheatin' Heart, George Jones, Johnny Cash, I Walk the Line Again, Buck Owens, some good stuff on here, man. Once again, KTEL Records. KTEL Records, man. Okay. And the last, was that the last one? Yep. The last one. Two record set of the Mills Brothers. 
I've never heard of them. I'm not gonna lie. I um, the most musical Mills Brothers sing your greatest listening pleasure on two stereo LP records. Isn't that nice? I don't know what that means. Um, the Mills Brothers. There's two records in it. It's on a label called Pickwick, an arrangement for Dot Records. It had it's I bet two of their albums. It looks like they came out. They got two smaller versions of the cover on there. That one and that one. And Gatefold, nice, in really good shape. Um, I'm not sure. I don't know. Maybe pop it in one day see what's going on well that was that don't this is the longest video I've made for this unboxing series that was a blind bag from Tiva Records in Hattiesburg Mississippi you can get your own blind bag at T-Bone $5.99 they're right inside the door and have a good day thank you